All right, here we are with yet another brand new release. This time, it is almost a sequel called Styx Master of Shadows. There's no two in the title, but it does play along with the series of Orcs and Men, Damlet, which came out about two years ago, and I played that on my channel as well. I'll put a link down into the description of the playlist so you guys can check that out. Very similar, I'm assuming, this will be, although we're focusing on Styx, who is a stealth master. An RPG very, very similar to Dragon Age. So, be interesting to see how this rates in terms of, uh, I guess, the rivalry between Dragon Age Inquisition, which will come out very, very shortly too. But, let's start off this off with a good like. Make sure you guys like the video if you want to see more. I'll definitely be pumping this game out quite a bit because it is on the computer as well. So, I'm going to be able to play and record very, very easily. There's even a Goblin difficulty, which... Is suitable for a player who likes a realistic challenge. Enemies detect you faster in, in melee combat. They kill you with one hit. Their projectiles inflict significant damage. We'll just go with normal. Don't want to embarrass myself too much by dying around. Definitely was very difficult of Orcs and Men in certain stages. It's a weird game in terms of difficulty. It was hard and then it was easy, but... The Atrium sections. of Akinash. A world shut inside another. This is what humans do when they don't understand a thing. They build walls around it. They put locks on the doors, and they put soldiers in front of those doors. The bigger the secret, the bigger the lock. And the craziest are those who want to pick it. May my ancestors forgive me. I'm one of those to my misfortune. Ah, this noise, these voices, I can't stand it. Amber, that damn golden mud oozing from the heart of the world tree. A magma of sticky dreams, all the thoughts of those who wanted to taste the forbidden sap. Humans, elves, all their private little chatters mixed up in this disgusting soup. A flood of ideas constantly flowing into my head for all these years. It took so long for me to find this place. With each step, I heard my voice a little less and all the others a little more. I'm so tired. It's time to finish it. While I can still recognize my own thoughts. The heart of the tree. It's why I'm here. That, at least, I am sure is my own desire. Take possession of this source of infinite power, but also misfortune. It's time to move to the first phase of the plan. Drop your weapon. And it starts now. You would have thought he would have failed his plan already before it began, but All right, clearly beast. not. Wake up. Answer when Lord Barnum speaks to you. Who are you? Speak! My name is Styx. There's a surprise. The elves give names to their monsters. Where do you come from? I've never seen anything that looks like you. I am one of a kind. It's the elves who created it, Father. That's obvious. They pulled this runt out of their sticky larvae, and they sent it here to spy on us. Speak! Is it the elves who sent you? Why are you here? <laughs> Elves, if you only knew. They don't need spies to find out what's going on in this accursed tower. So, you're working for them. What did you come here for? I came for the heart of the tree, of course. I knew it. Those degenerates want to retake the tree and keep their precious amber for themselves. Father, we must bring them to heal while we still have time. Enough, Aaron. I secured this alliance with the Elves, and I intend to respect it. For the moment, we need the Elves. You know it very well. Rubbish. Oh yes, you do need the Elves. How many of you poor little humans died the last time you tried to extract Amber by yourselves, huh? How many? Hundreds? Oh yes, you do need the Elves. But they don't need you. How long do you think you can lock them up in their own world? The Amber is theirs. The tree is theirs. The heart of the tree is theirs. 
and I intend to get my hands on it and take it away from here. They're dying to get their tree back, eh? But they won't do a thing. We have an agreement. An agreement? We don't sign agreements with people who have amber in their veins. <laughs> You're out of your depth, Mr. Governor. Oh, ho, 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 you've got some nerve. <laughs> I'm sure you've never even seen the heart of the tree. Oh, but I have seen it. Since I've been holed up in the bowels of the atrium, I can see it night and day, even in my dreams. And every day I say to myself, Hey, Rakash, the heart of the tree is over there. Almost within reach. And by your life, you're gonna find some way to steal it. Because you're not leaving the tower without it. Alright, definitely seems like they've changed the storyline. Yeah. Oh, this headache. Quite a bit. Alright, so pass on the obstacles. Pretty much what you expect in a game. Yeah, yeah. The heart of the tree. Right, you can well, jump I and hang on to anchor plates and ledges using I the jump button. Naked, Hold down the jump button to remain hanging from a ledge without climbing quick. up. It is also possible to grab a ledge below sticks if you approach it slowly, crouching or standing. Oh. Okay, we can't double jump. Uh, okay, and I think the bottom right bit is our stamina. It could be our health though as well. Alright, I should be able to climb up there. Okay. Seems like he's very, very agile. So it might not even really be a sequel. It might just be uh, a game which just follows along roughly into the storyline. Or it just may just have sticks and might not even follow along at, at all. Alright, I think we need to balance ourselves here. So. Did you see the dagger that Duncan found? I wonder where it comes from. It's not from here. Yeah, well, don't get excited. We'll play for it with dice tonight. In the meantime, keep your hands off. Okay, okay. I'll wait till tonight. These people definitely have very weird facial structures, to say the least. Right. They must be talking about my dagger. It can't be far away. What type of dagger are you talking about there, Sticks? Hopefully it's your weapon type of dagger. I'm just hoping that's the case. Alrighty. Let's go get the vial of life. I shall drink this flask. It would perk me up a little. Ah, so that was our health, I guess. Alright, definitely boost it up. Along your way, you'll find vials of life such as this one. Drink the contents in order to replenish your health gauge. We'll do. Right, let's go towards my dagger, though. Well, more climbing, I guess. God damn, it definitely jumps up pretty high. Um. Okay, that didn't work, obviously. You can jump pretty high. Alright. Let's give this a shot. Oh, there we go. Got it. The second time around. Alright, let's try and not make this uh, let's play a little bit too newbie. Be careful. Unable to defend yourself, you must avoid being detected until you find your dagger. Alright. I must stay out of sight until I find my dagger. Gonna soften up our footsteps. This guy's just fast asleep. There's no way we can kick him. However, be careful you put your feet as enemies react if you knock into objects. Definitely don't want to be doing that. Just find that much needed dagger of ours. Navigate in the dark. You're the master of shadows. The more you stay in the dark, the less chance there is being of being detected. Your tattoo will lighten up to indicate when you are less likely to be seen. Uh, so now I'm really likely to be seen. Wait. Your tattoo will light up to indicate when you are less likely to be seen. You can also extinguish this. Okay, I don't think that guy's on to me. I'm hoping not anyway. If they haven't seen me now, then they never will. Tree. It seems so close, but it's a mirage. It's so big that it seems to be close, but I still got a long way to go. So, from what I heard, the only access to the heart is a bridge which that two-faced Governor Barron has had closed off with a tamper-proof lock, and 
he keeps the only key in his apartments. And as if that wasn't bad enough, the whole area is crawling with elves. I'm gonna have to go down into the prisons and free my... friend. He knows how to deal with an elf. <laughs> so, if I'm gonna survive in this tower, I'm gonna need somewhere safe to get organized, as well as a map of the atrium. Well, I'll get nothing done standing around here. I'll get my dagger, and it's off to work. All right, question is, where is our dagger, though? Sounds like we know exactly where it is. All right, anyway. Uh, gotta be sneaky here. If I stay under there, I won't be seen. Because we're very, very small as well. Got to wait for that guy to actually walk over back there. They got no clue. I wonder if I actually walk over there right now, will they be able to notice us? Nothing's reports. There we go. Ah, there's my dagger. Ah, I was afraid that I lost you, my baby. Alright, main objective hmm. has been completed. There are maps of the zone stuck up here. Let's see, we got maps of the area. I'll need more than that to get what I want. Alright, so use the interact button to open a door or hold down the button to pick the lock, which takes it a little longer. You can also press the action button to peek through the keyhole. Alright. That's the action button. Okay. It doesn't seem like there's anyone to either side of us, so. Um, let's hold E. So I guess now we're picking the lock. Okay. Wonder what would happen if we opened it without trying to pick the lock. Oh, wow. Definitely got a very interesting locking mechanism, to say the least. Now, where are we off to? Towards the distillery. Okay. It's actually pretty good the way the game works out. Hopefully we'll be able to do this one. Jump. What if we drop here? That ain't going to work, is it? Just keep jumping up. Oh, there we go. It's hard to know when you need to go up and to the side or just jump to the side. Because that was a jump to the side. You would have thought that would have been like up and to the side. But anyway. Assassin's rule number one. Technicalities. Always strike from behind. Especially when the fucker is twice your size. And remember to land on the carpet to make less noise. Okay, we can't do it like Assassin's Creed's jump kill? Guess not. Climb back up. Can I jump off? Hey, by the heart of I can't leave this stiff lying around. That would be messy. Where can I hide it? Yeah, but we got blood on the floor. That's not good. It's not good at all. The music seems to be on pretty tense as well. What if we Okay. Can't check up on that book. No. Wonder if there's gonna be like any unlockables or anything. Deal with the enemy when the guards attack you in melee combat. You're locked in and must repel their attacks. Parry their attacks with the proper timing and kill them when they're off balance. Okay, let's get that vial, which I don't really need. But it seems like the game's auto saved as well. It's gotta say, it's very impressive. Gotta find the best Sticks his best when it comes to counter-attacking. Um, now, question is, where do I put this body? I think I'll just leave it here. I'm not quite sure where I needed to put that other body. I guess the game wanted us to do that just to teach us how to put bodies away. Because that one's just going to be there. I'm not going to really bother. As well, there's nothing really that can... Let's keep going. I don't know where I can really put it. Oh, is that health potion? It is a vial of life. Hmm. Sand, a little spit. That could put that torch out from here. Oh. Now, how exactly do we spit? Oh, okay. Don't think now, at least I've figured out how to use those spitballs. So now we'll be able to stealthily take out that torch, which we can actually just equip it and then we chuck it. 
There we go. And this guy's got no idea what the hell just happened. Which is actually really good for us. Because this guy thinks he saw something, but he ain't got no idea. We can just go in here, and we should be good. Unless this leads us to the other side. Okay, that's where that leads us to. Okay. Let's wait for this guy. Just to uh, wait back over there, and we'll be okay. Does it come all the way over here? I don't think so. Let's wait for this guy to go, and then we'll make it out move. We can actually climb up on these uh, crosses over there. Around the other side of the room as well. We'll wait up though. Okay. That was that difficult. How was it? Shit. More guards. If I stay hidden behind this barrel, it should be fine. Okay, so we can take cover cover ourselves. Okay, let's just do that, because it seems like this guy's gonna walk past us. Whoa, that is close. Way too close for comfort. So I have a harder time detecting me in this stance. You know what? Let's keep on moving like this. There's no way I can drop down, is there? Oh, wow, okay. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I'll take it. Oh no. Uh oh. I think we'll be okay though. Only just. Let's get towards the distillery. He's noticed his dead buddy. Alright, so we've got some skill points. Let's just quickly get out of here, though. I don't want to be reading too many things. We've got, we're in reminiscences. Alright, so I'm guessing there's going to be chapters like there were in of Orcs and Men. That was a very, very good game. It was quite uh, simple, but it definitely had a really good storyline. I liked it, at least. And unfortunately, for whatever reason, the... Riders seem to want to swear all the time. It seems like they've carried on that little trait in this game as well. Although, hopefully, it's not going to be completely out of place. Because, like, even in Of Orcs and Men, it seemed like they were swearing just for the sake of swearing. So, it didn't really make all that much sense. Oh, my God. Fucking I gotta get me some amber. Yeah. That, that would straighten me out. Down there, maybe? Only one way to find out. Let's give it a shot. Now, I also got to remember that uh, my computer is pretty good, so all I have to do is just uh, press A to actually load things up. To study these cocoons more closely, it would be fascinating. Uh, I'm not able to multi kill a Noma. I'd be willing to give my complete Fascinating. Very tempted uh, to actually knock that over, but so we won't, because they'll I'd notice. Be I'm not quite sure if these guys will actually attack us, though. Just seem like a bit of peasants and all. A quick peek through the keyhole just to make sure the way is clear. Wise thinking there, sticks. Seems like the way definitely is very clear. All right, back we go. Let's go break this lock or pick it at least. We. Oh god, he's using his fingernails to pick it. Did he? Maybe he's got some special apparatus though. That's a bit gross if that's his fingernails though. Amber. I gotta get some now. That amber. My head is gonna explode. Let's go get it before we go ahead and explode. We don't want that to happen. <laughs> so, oh yes, I've seen this. We can create clones. Thanks to Amber, you can create and control a clone. You use a clone to enter areas that are inaccessible or to distract your enemies. Once a clone has served its purpose, you can destroy and recover Amber. The life of a clone is short. Once their limit is reached, they die by themselves. Let's pick whatever that is up. Ah, seems like it's a collectible. Okay. Seems like we can find different things around here, which is pretty nifty. All right. Time to make this clone. There's nothing else hidden around here, though. So... Go create this clone. Have a look what will happen. Well, I got no choice. I'll need 
needing some help. Oh, gross. All right. Um, so now we need to interact with the clone. So, hello, Rash. I'll get into the clone and he can interact. Right, now he needs to press this mechanism. Hate doing that. Makes sense. All right. Let's see if we can actually unlock this mechanism as well. Oh, we can... shit. oh he dies right away. <laughs> okay. He can't even fly. Yeah. So the clone's just going to be used for right. very basic things. Steal a body and do it yourself. <laughs> there we go. That's how it's done, my friends. And let's use this mechanism now. Gigantic here. Hmm. I'll have to use the amber vision to find my way. So I can't really see what amber vision is doing. Oh, there we go. There's something there. Ah, so it highlights different things for us. All right, so we can hide there. That doesn't really help me out all that much though. We need to find a way down here. This guy's sleeping. I kind of want to kill him though. Still a muffled kill this time. Ah, uh, so muffled kills take a bit of time. Okay, let's just hope nobody notices that. Um, what I could do is just carry the body. Let's see, there must be somewhere that we can hide him. Let's put him there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You can slump him against the wall. It's a very pre precariously close. Incredibly so. Alright, so we've got to find a way down there. Reports. That guy didn't hear anything there. Okay. Quite interesting. Does that mean anyone's going to come up here or not? I don't think so. Alright, so I can come down over here. I'm not quite sure if that's the best idea. I'm very well, tempted to actually go all. Up there. all the way over there. Oop. All right. Oh, hello, door. Uh, we c oh, we can actually go in through here. Alright, it's a warehouse of sorts. Thankfully, I even saw that, because that's very hidden away. Here in the dark, dark corners. I was going to think of dropping down, but clearly that's not what we do, I think. What we've got to do is um, go through here. Okay, we've got a vial of amber. Oh, no. A monster! That one's mine! <laughs> that wasn't all that stealth now, was it? But it'll do the job. Those were the only two in the room. Not quite sure how we were supposed to get around here. Not up top, were we? Hmm. Interesting. Alright, we can hide the bodies there if we so choose. Maybe this guy was going to move, although it doesn't seem like it. Anyways, I think we're pretty much where we need to be, though. Right. Huh. Oh, this is the way I need to be. Alright. Um, there must be a way I can get up here, then. So it's not, I can't get up this way, which is really unfortunate. Ah, you're supposed to come th into this room that way. Alright. 
That makes a bit more sense. So I'm going to have to... Let's see. Go over there somehow. I'm hoping this guy won't hear us. There we go. That was nice and quiet. Alright, Simon tells me I didn't do that exactly the way it was meant to be done, but we got there in the end. I think I was supposed to go around the other way, but who cares? You got to point A? Alright, at least we got to point B, I guess. We started off from point A. Shit. A sliding grill. I'm stuck. Ah, this is impossible. There's got to be a way. Alright, very obviously, uh, there's going to be... Well, first we need a drink of Vial of Life. That goes without saying. I'm not quite sure if we've got infinite four health. And I'm not quite sure if we should test that. But what I'll do is get this guy. <laughs> Alright, that doesn't work. What's that? Somebody there? There's definitely is a way. I'm sure it's got to do with this pulley. Um, let's go drink a vial of life. And use some amber vision, maybe. Oh, there are Jeez, that was very hidden. That stuff. Alright. There we go. I can drop down slowly but surely. Now, where else can we do? What else can we do? Oh, here we go. Nice and easy. Right, it seems like our amber vision actually comes back to us. Oh, hello. What's that? Somebody there? Who knows about us? Who knows who I am? It's Oscan. I'll open the passage for you. Hurry up inside. All right, I will, I will. Huh? Oz can. Oh, my head. Yeah, I know that name. Oz can. Yes, you can trust him. Anyway, you don't have a choice. All right. I'm just waiting for these big doors to open. About time, Sticks. I've been waiting for ages. I was beginning to wonder if Barryman and his gang hadn't done you in. There was a slight hitch. Well, I think so. Ah, my head feels like a wagon's gone through it. Well, we'll take care of that later. What are you doing here? Well, I'm here to tell you that I found a hideout, like you asked me to. I asked you? Uh, yeah, of course I asked you. Damn this headache. Ah, must be why I can't remember what I did even yesterday. Good. I'm off to the hideout then. You'll tell me the way? All you have to do is follow the marks I made here and there. You'll see. This is my personal system. As soon as you see the mark, then you know that one of my hiding places is near. You can go inside. There's one close by with, as it happens, a list of other hiding places. You'll see. I often put some useful stuff inside. Thanks. I'm off. Whoa, 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 wait. You'll have to pick up the sewer pry bar in another hiding place. Oh, yeah. Uh, one thing I didn't tell you. The hideout is in the uh, sewers. But you know how it is. The more it smells like shit, the quieter it is. You'll fit right in. And to think I was beginning to like you. Sorry to disappoint you, but with your looks, it's best not to take risks. And anyway, the royal suite was already taken. In short... Go on ahead, pick up the pry bar, and open the entrance to the sewers. I'll see you at the hideout. Well, well. Looks like Ozcan carries a flask in his belt. Let's hope I haven't lost my touch. <laughs> oh, wow. That was pretty easy to take that. Alrighty. Well, that's going to conclude the very first episode of Styx, the Master of Shadows. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I'm seemingly enjoying the game. Hopefully you'll uh, continue on this little, uh, well, hopefully we'll continue on just the way it's been. But until next time though, guys, make sure you like the video. We'll start off with a, a good start to the series. And apart from that, I'll see you in episode two.